the future may have a house with all its windows generating energy from the sun. And I don't mean just heat energy, but energy we can store and use later. The research is at Los Alamos National Laboratory in collaboration with scientists from University of Milano, Bicocca, in Italy, have embedded quantum dots in a transparent sheet of ploimethyl methacrylate to build luminescent solar concentrators or as they're being called, LSCs. So what is that? And what are quantum dots you may ask? Well using colloidal chemistry, nanoscale bits of semiconducting material manufactured with atomic precision to create quantum dots. Quantum dots are not a new idea that was invented by LANL. They are used in the newest generation of the Kindle Fire e-readers quantum dot displays. But to put them to use inside plastic matrix to magnify the light that hits the clear plastic. That's really cool. When sunlight absorbed in the plastic sheet is re-radiated at longer wavelengths because of the quantum dots. And then, guided toward the edge of the sheet. The edge is lined with solar cells designed to absorb light at the longer wavelength. So the LSC concentrates the solar radiation from a larger area to focus it on a smaller solar cell, thus boosting its power output. It's like a light harvesting antenna. Here is a diagram showing a little on how the LSC is made. You can see the quantum dots would be embedded in the plastic window material. And on the sides of this plastic would be the specialized photovoltaic cells designed to absorb light at the longer wavelength. As sunlight hits the quantum dots made of cadmium selenide cadmium sulfide, the outer cadmium sulfide shell controls absorption, while the inner core of cadmium selenide controls emissions. The longer wavelength light now is refocused to the edges of the plastic where it is concentrated onto the photovoltaic cells. Notice how ultraviolet light is shifted to a longer wavelength. The LSC is re-radiating the light to the edges in a longer red wavelength. So think about it. You could have all the windows in a building or your home built with the LSC devices. You would be able to produce electricity without having to give up the look of the conventional designs nor the adding of solar panels on the roof. I must say that, I like the idea, very cool. Picture the London City Hall building using this technology. It could generate a lot of power from the solar panels, and yet allow the workers inside to still enjoy the view and natural lighting in their offices. Also picture, a home built using this technology would be able to generate power all day long and not have the look of all the solar panels on the roof. Just think about it, even maybe your electric car can have a way to help charge its batteries. The Antro Solo is a prototype gas electric hybrid with an array of solar panels along the top of the vehicle to power its electric motor. The solar energy is stored in its batteries and keeps the car juiced, letting it cruise to 150 miles per gallon. But with the new tech it could be even more efficient and maybe even total electric, as the added area covered with solar panels could increase the energy harvesting capability of the design. Here is more technical info about the luminescent solar concentrators or LSC, from the Los Alamos National Laboratory website www.lanl.gov. I can't wait till this technology is available at your neighborhood home improvement store. So there you have it, a simple explanation on how see-through solar cells, or luminescent solar concentrators, LSC, work. I hope this helps you out, and you enjoyed the presentation. I plan on making many more helpful videos and sharing my 30 years experience in both audio engineering and the electronics repair fields. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and click like, sharing the knowledge. If you have any questions feel free to ask. Noisy Art has left the building.